Now, we have a couple of issues that we have to work through, but the first one that I want to address is what happens if someone wants to make a user and they give mismatching passwords. We should handle that in a lot better way than we do right now. So let's go back to our code and let's say, okay, if the password one does not match password two, we come to this else statement. What we should do is send them back still the same form and the sign up page, all that good stuff. But we need to also include some sort of message that, hey, your, your password, uh, your passwords didn't match. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this same dictionary that's passed forward to the template and add a new entry. So I'm gonna do a comma and I'm gonna say for the entry of error, just all lowercase, and this is just a name I'm picking. There's nothing magical about error here. I'm going to say uh, passwords did not match. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save this. And now go to that sign up user.html. And what I'll do is after the sign up, but before the form, I'm going to make a new h2 tag. Okay, do an opening and closing there. And I'm going to display the error that the user got. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save this back to the page. So I'm going to do sign up. Let's say I put in some passwords that do not match. Look at this. I get this nice error message that says, hey, the passwords did not match. So this is something that the user can actually act on and be like, oh, shoot, I, you know, I didn't do that right. Okay, so that fixes that problem. We're, we're good to go there. The next issue is, let's say I sign up with Joe. And even if my passwords are matching, okay, and I sign up, uh, we get this nasty error that says, hey, these things were not unique, meaning that we can only have... Uh, one username for each user. There can't be two users with the same username of Joe. So the question is, we've got to tell the user that, but how do we handle this more gracefully? And something I'm going to show you here is whenever you get an error page like this uh, and you have some sort of type of error, you can see this exception type, integrity error. So this will be really important to us. We're going to copy this, come back to our code, and what we're going to do, and the code that we want is inside of our views.py, is really the error happens when we try to save the user. So I'm gonna wrap this code in a try except. So I'm gonna say try colon, and then below this I'm gonna say accept colon. And I'm gonna tab this over in these two lines over like that, okay? But with this except, I'm gonna say integrity error, meaning that uh, if there is an integrity error, which sort of represents that, you know, there was two, uh, already an object with that username, this is the situation when we would want to tell the user. So I'm gonna copy the same line of code that we have to say the passwords didn't match. And I'm gonna paste this and now say for this error that uh, that username has already been taken. Please choose a new username. All right, so we'll save that. And once we've done this, if we come back and I'm gonna reload this sign up page. So I'm gonna pass in Joe, make sure that my passwords match, all that good stuff, sign up. Uh, we still get the integrity error. Ah, I forget, we have to import integrity error in order to be able to use it. So I'm gonna to come to the top of our code. We're gonna say from django.db import we want the capital integrity error. So we'll go ahead and paste that in, save that. And now try this one more time. So do our same password. And look at that. The username has already been taken. Please choose a new username. So the one thing that would be great about this is you'll notice even though I've made a new account of Joe, I can still access this admin page. Really what should happen is, is if I sign in into a new, like I sign up for a new account, I want them to be logged into that account. So really what we just gotta do is after someone has made a new account, we wanna log them in and that's more code that we're gonna have to import here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do from, and then I want lowercase Django dot contrib dot auth. And I'm going to import all lowercase login. So if you notice the, the reason why I set this URL to be sign up user is there's some functions like sign up or in this case login. And so we don't want to conflict with those. 
So anyways, back on the views, now that I've imported login, I can simply just say, okay, I want to log in the user. So I'm gonna say login and I just have to repass or pass in the request. And then also this new user object that we just saved, okay? And after we've logged in the user, we have to send them somewhere. And the problem is that right now, all that we have is an admin page and we have uh, the sign up page. Like we have to have somewhere else for them to go. So eventually we're gonna make a page called current, which just shows like the current to do's that they have. So let's quickly go and make that. So I'm gonna copy this path here. I'll make sure I have an ending comma at the end of that. I'm gonna copy this and paste this down below. I'm gonna change this to current. And I'm gonna call this current to do's. Okay, and we'll give that that same name. Copy this, go back, save this, go to my views. I'm gonna make a new function called current to do's, pass in the request. And for the time being, I'm just gonna return back some sort of page. So I'll copy this to get it out just a little bit faster. And I'm gonna call this the current to do's which means I need a new file with that. So I'll make an HTML file and I'll just say this is simply current. Save that there. All of this so that, was, so that after a new user has signed up, we saved them into the database, we logged them in, then we are going to redirect them over to uh, the current page, which in order to do that, we have to import some more code. So up here at the top, we're gonna go ahead and inside of the shortcuts, luckily we already have render, just do a comma after that. And we're just gonna say redirect, okay? So save that, come down and we'll say in lowercase redirect. And we just have to pass the name of where it is that we're trying to go. And in that case, it's these current to-dos. All right, so I know a whole lot happened there, but if we go ahead and hit save here, this is our big moment of truth. So I'm gonna come back to the sign up page, all right? I'm gonna choose a completely new user. I'm gonna say Jane. I'm gonna give Jane a password, okay? I'm gonna hit sign up. And we say that it, we did not be able to return an HTTP response. Ah, I figured out what the issue was and it was a really rookie mistake, but that's okay. We're making them here. Uh, what happened was when a new user is created, we log them in. We just typed redirect. What we have to do is return the redirect. So I'm gonna say return space redirect. So we'll go ahead and save this. Now you can see, no matter what happens, we always are returning some sort of render of something that the user should be doing. So with this, let's reload this page. Let's pick a new user. Um, let's do like Haley. I don't think we've made one because I think Jane has already been saved. And if we create a new user Haley, look at that it forwards us to current and over here on our admin page, we've been logged out. Like if I try to go to slash admin, we're logged out because we've been logged in as Haley. And in fact, there's a little message here. It says you are author authenticated as Haley, but are not authorized to access this page. Do you want to log into a different account? So this is pretty cool, right? Like, and, th and this is a default thing in Django that is, you know, uh, normal users that are created via that sign up function, they don't have super user power, so they can't get into the admin, which is a good thing, right? Because if you're in the admin, you can change everyone else's to-dos and, and all that stuff there. Um, so this is probably a good place to stop for this, but I want you to step back for a second because uh, we have done a lot of work here. Like I said, this site is really kicking things up a notch, but let's look at what we've done. We've added a way for someone to create a new user object and be able to sign up for that in an account. And so the first thing that we had to do is we had to determine, is this a get or is it a post? Because if it's a get, we wanna display the form. If it's a post, we wanna see if the passwords match and then we try and make a new user. If that name's already been taken, you know, we gotta return back an error. Uh, but as long as that's good to go, we'll make that user, save them the database, log in and turn them back to the current page. Okay, so give yourself a nice pat on the back. That was uh, a lot of work there, but I promise we're almost like, uh, that was like the big hill we had to get over. Things are gonna be pretty awesome from here on out. Still lots of new things to learn, but this was a lot of work to get to this point and you're gonna feel great for it from here on. All right, let's get to the next one.